Tell me what the good news is. I can't wait. We're waiting for you here. I don't know what those kids are hiding, sir, but I intend to find out. Me and my friends, we do have a secret. Your paranoia is beginning to get on my nerves. I'm sorry, Jim, but I'm going to have to let you go. Look, Jim, if you help me, I'll tell the principal everything. Shake on it. I'm ready for the big jump, Jeremy. Okay, Aida, I'm launching the program for your materialization. Code Earth. <gasps> Come on, let's go. Hey, relax, Lilita. Don't worry. It's just a history class. I'd feel a lot better if it were a class in computers. I don't know anything about history. That's just it. Uh, You're here to learn. If it were a computer class, you could be the teacher. Take your seat so we can huh. begin. Hmm. Huh. Just who does that new girl think she is? All she cares about is having boys around her. Actually, I think she looks worried. Obviously, Nicholas, you don't know the first thing about girls. Huh. Acting frail and helpless will work every time. Boys love that. It's the best way to attract them. Mm -hmm. We have a new student in our class. I'll let her introduce herself. Hmm. Um, my, uh, I, uh, I read us her name. And she's my cousin. She's very shy. Hmm. Well, Ailita, let me welcome you to Caddick Junior High. We all hope that you're going to like it here very much. <laughs> You see, everything's cool. There was no reason to worry. Mm, I guess not. And besides, I really like history. But you've got to admit, you fight a lot here. There are wars all the time. Mm. Okay. <laughs> hey, guys. Well, how's our new Earthling doing? Oh, <laughs> I'm fine. I'm trying to adapt to so many new sensations, like the air that you breathe here, all the colors and the smells. But I'm fine. It's about time we deactivated the supercomputer, don't you think? Well, I wouldn't wait for Xana to send us an invitation. And who feels like going back to Lyoko now that Alita's here with us? You'll think this is silly, but it scares me a little. Lyoko, after all, was my home. And I'm not really sure what effect destroying it might have for me. Hmm? Hmm. There's nothing to worry about, I'm sure. Hmm. Come on. Jim? Huh? Well, did you have a good sleep? Oh, oh, yeah. Great. And I really appreciate everything you've done for me. But I was getting a little bored, I have to admit. How'd you like to watch us deactivate Xana? Mm, uh, I wouldn't miss that for the world. You haven't forgotten your promise, Jeremy. I have it, Jim. As soon as Xana's deactivated, I'll tell the whole story to the principal and you'll get your job back. That's great. I can't wait till all this is settled. I honestly never imagined that I would miss being your P.E. teacher so much. Uh, from now on, call me Jimbo, huh? Thanks. So are you ready to go, Jimbo? Here we are. Okay, Alida? Uh, if you want to wait a day or two. No, the sooner the better. Okay. I think you should have the honor. No. Mm -hmm. I, I'd rather you did it. Sure, Alida. Xana, uh, uh. you gave us a lot of grief, but thanks to you, we met Alida. So uh. goodbye and good riddance. Ailita! Uh -huh. Put the power back on! Ailita's not well! Hurry up! What's wrong with her? Let's hope Santa doesn't rear his ugly head! Uh. Her pulse seems back to normal again. Alita, it's a little bit like sleeping, a really deep sleep. Oh, I like the way it felt. 
Maybe you did, but you passed out, and that's not normal. I modified the scanner's program while you slept. Do you mind if I examine you? Uh, no. <laughs> Launching program. Data recovery. Oh, don't tell me you really understand all that. It's not very complicated. Mm. We're ready to begin the analysis. Uh, that's fine, Aelita. You can come back now. Okay, let's try to see what the trouble is. <sighs> that's just what I was afraid of. It looks like Xana infected me with a virus. Uh, hmm. That's it. Huh? He must have done it during the transfer. Hmm. There was a sudden drop in the voltage for a very short time. I remember that, because I had a strange feeling at that moment. For a few seconds, I felt Xana's presence as if he was trying to hold me back. And that's probably the reason why you fainted a while ago. Xana implanted a virus inside you because he wanted you to be linked to him. And if we kill Xana, then I get destroyed as well. <sighs> uh, is there anything we can do? Yeah, try to find an antivirus. But it could take a long time. I'm starting up an analysis program. The computer will work autonomously on it until tomorrow morning. I'll take you back to Yumi's. It's kind of late. <laughs> what a strange sensation. You shivered, that's all. It's a reaction you get on account of the cold. I like the feeling of being a little chilly. And the sounds and the smells are all different at night. Yeah, it's quiet and peaceful and the plants, they breathe differently. Uh, here, smell this. Mm. Oh, it's wonderful to be alive. And it's thanks to you that I'm here. Well, I, uh, I, I didn't uh, do it alone. <laughs> oh! What's that? A scanner? No, not exactly. Follow me. <laughs> well, your castle awaits you, princess. Thanks for walking me back. In spite of the virus, I still had the most wonderful night of my life. Good night. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> Oof. Oh, Elita's... Wow! So, do you have any idea how to get rid of this miserable virus? No, not yet. I hope the calculations my computer made will help me. Here come the girls. Mm. Well, how was your first night on Earth? Sleeping is really wonderful. She would have slept all day if I hadn't shaken her a little. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like me, Aelita. And you'll see, sleeping in class isn't too bad either. Uh, what's going on? Who can give us the definition of a pair of prime numbers? Hmm? Uh, sissy? Uh, mm, well, uh, uh, a pair of prime numbers is, uh, um, two numbers that are both the same. <laughs> Thank you, sissy. Well, can one of you give us a less harebrained answer? Ailita. A pair of prime numbers occurs when their highest common denominator is one. Very good, although... In a principal ring, it's equivalent to the fact that their direct sum is equal to one, but of course, with a non-principal factorial ring, that is not the case. Uh. That is, according to the theory of Bizu, you see. Bizu? Calm down, children. Changed tactics. He sent one of his monsters to Earth for the first time. How did he manage that? Who cares? The problem is, how do you suggest getting rid of him? Like we always do, we fight them. 
You three head for Lyoko and deactivate the tower. You, me, and I will stay here and defend the home front. Oh, no. That's crazy, Ulrich. You know very well that if there's a victim, that going back in time won't bring her back to life. You, me? Yeah, we already know. We've got to find weapons. Okay, I'll meet you outside of the math class. Well, let's go, guys. I'll handle him. Get going! Let's see how good you are. Yeah! A few more seconds and the coast will be clear. What would you do without me? They got their sights set on us. Hmm. Huh. Okay, let's show them what we can do. Hey, over here! Yeah, you little a monster! I'll make you think twice before you leave your world again. Oh no! Hang on, Jim. I told you to call me Jimbo, remember? Jeremy, you have to transfer me to Lyoko. What? Have you forgotten Xana's virus, Lolita? What if Xana stops you from deactivating the tower or from returning to Earth? That's a risk we've got to take. The priority is to stop Xana. Mm. You know as well as I do that we have no choice, Jeremy. Think of all the other monsters Xana could materialize. Yeah. Okay, get into the scanner. I'll send you to Lyoko. Oh. I'm deactivating the infected scanner. Get ready, Odd. Nice going, kid. I've located the activated tower. It's in the glacier region. That's where I'm sending you. Uh, by the way, where are Ulrich and Yumi? At school, fighting monsters. I'm off. I'll be a lot more useful there. Here. It's like a Swiss army knife. See you later. Transfer, I. Transfer, Ailita. Scanner, on. Scanner, Ailita. Virtualization. Strange being virtualized. Yeah, but you get used to it. No air to breathe, no smells, no warmth, nothing. I miss the real world already. Let's go, Aelita. <laughs> All right, we're never gonna make it. Bonsai! Yeah! <laughs> Take that, you cockroach! Yeah! Got one! Your prayers. <sighs> There's something I gotta admit, Jim. This is the hmm. first time I'm glad you caught us by surprise. My friends call me Jim Bo. Got it? Squadron approaching at nine o'clock. Three hornets. Here they come now. Watch out! <gasps> They're coming back. <gasps> Head for the tower! I'll hold them off! <clears throat> what? You've got 40 life points left, Odd! Jeremy! What is it, Ulrich? Where are you? Odd and Aelita really need your help! We haven't finished the job here yet. 
Odd's only got 40 life points left. If I leave his left all alone, she's headed for disaster. Okay, we'll hurry up. You two had better hightail it to Lyoko. I can handle these bugs on my own. Am I right to say that the sooner you deactivate the tower, the safer the world's gonna be? Is that it? Mm-hmm. Well, then, what are you waiting for? Go on now and get the job done. It takes a lot more than a few ugly monsters to beat your friend Jimbo! Take that! You're losing too many life points, Odd! You gotta hang in there. Jeremy! Yumi, it's about time. Odd's only got 20 life points left. We're heading for the scanner. Don't worry about Odd. He can hold on a while. 20 points is enough for him. Laser arrow! Come on, I'm waiting for you! Oh, I don't believe it! I'm out of arrows! Bye-bye! <laughs> never let you go it alone. Hey, we can't let the school go it alone either. Right. Yeah, take that and that. <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Go on, run. <laughs> Leave those kids alone. Starting the materialization program immediately. 
We've got to wipe out Xana before he launches another attack. Jeremy, it's impossible. The virus is still in me. I can feel it. We've still got to try it. Maybe you can be treated here on Earth. No, Jeremy. You know that as well as I do. As long as this virus is inside of me, you can't destroy Xana without destroying me at the same time. We could materialize you for an hour or two, so you could pay us a little visit, huh? Why not? But the rest of the time, I'll have to stay here on Lyoko to fight Xana until the day you find an antivirus. Alita... I, uh... Hmm. <laughs> Jim! We forgot all about him. So, you kids are at it again. No, Jim, we were studying. Studying my eye? I've had enough of your lies. You're gonna stay right here until you tell me everything. Jim, what is going on here? Oh, you came by just the right time, sir. I was just about to find out exactly what these children were up to again. Oh, another one of your absurd stories about mysterious meetings and secret passages, eh? I've had about enough of this, Jim, and I'm going to have to... He's right, sir. We really were plotting. We were. We were going to play a little joke on Nicholas and Herb. Hmm. In fact, sir, if Jim hadn't caught us, we would have been late for school for sure. Well, then, I'll look the other way this time, since you admitted what you've done. Now, uh, off to class, children. Go on now. Well, you made up one heck of a story, kids. Why did you get me off the hook? Well, it's just that you never know. Maybe one day you'll do the same for us. And, you know, we never get the time to thank you for all you've done for us. So thanks a lot, Jimbo. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> You're a hero. And a fantastic P.E. teacher, Jimbo. Oh, well, uh, you ought to tell the principal that. Okay, now, go to class. Well, I'm a hero. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs>